They don't want to see me rise No They just want to see me fall When I be giving my all I'm just going to do it my way Hey everybody, this is Mwadib Bringing you a video today on um, Kind of a getting started point uh, If you want to run your own repo uh, be it for personal use or uh, in order to uh, share your add-ons with everybody else out there in the Kodi community. Uh, you want to set up your own repo. Uh, that's what this video is about. And it's going to be on using GitHub in order to do that. All right, and it's going to be from ground uh, zero. It's going to be setting up your GitHub account uh, and setting up your folders uh, so that uh, you can have all that on there. Uh, including uh, an application for Windows to help make things a little bit easier to manage them uh, and also putting a disclaimer in your the top of your repo uh, if you want to keep it private if it's for you and your family only for example um, I know a lot of youtubers are now using the Git browser by TV add-ons uh, in order to look for them and there's been a lot of developers kind of getting upset over it because it's it, it's exposing their add-ons uh, to more people and they don't want them to be so uh, I'll show you about you know the readme file in there so that if uh, a developer does find or a uh, youtuber does find it they can go to your github page and they'll see the notification on there that it's a uh, private add-on um, and everything you know just to kind of give them a heads up you know that you don't really want to see a video put out there for it so we'll go ahead and get started here uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the GitHub web page. Uh, that's going to be github.com, G-I-T. All right. And you want to set up a username uh, and password and, and use uh, your email for that. So we're going to go ahead and set one up here. So you go ahead and create your account. All right, and it's going to go ahead and tell you, you know, hey, you know, we, you're, you made it to the first step here. Uh, we're doing this for free. So, you know, we're going to just have a public repository. So we're going to go ahead and choose uh, here for the public repository for free. No need to, to check either one of these. Hit continue. All right, and it's going to come up with tailoring your experience. Uh, and so just answer these however you want. All right. Um, and let's see here. Go ahead and hit submit. All right. So at this point, you know, this is up to you. If you want to read their guide, by all means, do so. Pause the video, read their guide, go through things. Um, if not, you can, if you just want to go ahead and jump into it, you can go ahead and click Start Project. It's going to tell you you need to verify your email address. All right. I'm going to jump over here to my other window. Is there a wait on the email there we go I've got one from github now all right I'm gonna click on the link they email me all right and just in case you want to see it here after I click on it it takes me to a uh, login page sign in here all right so it gets me uh, verified here so at this point I'm just gonna hit back hit start a project again and BAM so the repository name that that can be anything you want that's what it's gonna look like um, whenever you go to your profile and everything on there you're gonna see um, your profile you'll see list of repositories and it's gonna show up here so 
we're going to show this just as test repo all right you can give it a description if you like And of course, we're going to mark it public, especially since that's the, the type of account we chose. All right, and we're going to choose to initialize this with a README. Um, and we don't need it to do any of this up front here. So, but, you know, if you're going to be using this for a repo and you want to keep your source code in it and all, you may want to choose uh, add a git, uh, git ignore and add like a. Uh, the compiled Python things like that to it that's up to you we're gonna go ahead and choose create a repository alright and you'll see down here we got our test repo this is a test repo for a video uh, in the readme alright now the next thing we want to do is download the github uh, for Windows desktop client all right, and I've already got it installed, but I'm going to show you the uh, easiest way to, to download it. All right, is just using Google. All right, so we're going to type in GitHub Desktop Client. Let search, and of course, desktop.github.com is the address it comes back with, and then you download uh, the appropriate version. All right, you see they've got uh, different uh, versions uh, based on what you need. So go ahead and download and install that. All right, once you have that downloaded and installed, you can go ahead and launch the GitHub for Desktop client. And now mine's going to have some stuff already in it because I, I use that. Uh, but it's going to come up for you here. And it'll take it just a moment of my computer. It's loading in the other monitor, so I'm going to have to move it over. All right. All right, here. Now with uh, GitHub open, I uh, will go ahead and go up here to File. We're going to go to Options. We're going to go ahead and get you signed into your account. All right. You, when you open the options, you see a couple things across the top here. Uh, maybe what we want to worry about is GitHub.com. So we choose sign in there. All right, and click sign in. All right, now that it's signed in, uh, you can go through to uh, clone your repositories, things like that. So, for example, if we choose clone repository and go to the github.com tab, it's going to show your, your test right there. And you can clone that locally. So, you go down here and you can choose uh, the local path. And I'm setting it up on here. So, I'll go to here. I want to make sure that it shows the, the folder I chose plus the slash and the repo name. So in this case, test repo. All right, I'm going to hit clone. And we've only got the readme in there, so it only takes it a moment to download and get everything done. All right, so now it's got that added to my list. Alright, and if we go to Windows Explorer, we're going to notice that now there's the test repo folder there. And if we go in there, we're going to see that README file. And we want to go ahead and open that in Notepad here. Or Notepad++, whatever text editor you choose. Alright. And you can uh, set this up to, to say whatever you want. Uh, for example, you can take this line out here. Uh, this is a test repo for a demonstration video. Please do not do a YouTube video or post on social media to share this as I am 
developing this for a video and not public use. Alright, then you save it there. You can go up here, click save, close that, and go back to the desktop. And you're going to see this. It's going to show you, y'all, in red what was removed and green what was added for the file. So we can go down here to this line and choose updating readme. Don't need to put anything in the description. We'll hit commit. And then after you commit it, then you have to go up here and push it back to GitHub. All right. And this is on any time you do an update. that is done here so we'll go ahead and minimize that and let's go ahead and bring up the browser again here all right we need to refresh this and right here we'll see it this is a test repo for a demonstration video and as you can see it's got all my new content in it here so uh, at this point it that parts now done we we've, we've got our github account it's on our computer we can start doing whatever we need to in it. All right. So what I want to do is I want to set this up for a repo. All right. And there's a lot of videos out there on, on different um, ways to set up your repo files and all. And the way I'm going to show you is in my tools and parsers uh, GitHub repository, I have a repo generator. And what I'll do is go over that. Uh, I'm just going to dump that into here and run it. And show you, you know, when you commit with it, how quickly it updates it all. And I'm going to do a separate video on that repo generator because there's a lot of stuff to it. Uh, a lot of settings, a lot of little ins and outs with it. Uh, so that's going to be a separate video. But I, I want to throw it on here just to, to show you how easy it is to maintain these uh, once all that is done. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and create a folder here and I'm going to call it underscore tools I'm just going to copy my github stuff in here or, uh, real quick for my repo generator and I'm going to edit my configuration file as you can see that's all default here alright just leave that how it is because this is this is for the, the demonstration purposes only now I've got a uh, Python 2.7 installed uh, which is what this script uh, was made for so it hasn't been updated yet for working with 3.6 uh, so I'm going to go ahead go up here run the command line and launch the script it's going to run through All right, since I don't have an actual repo, it's going to generate the initial repo based on my configuration file and do all that for me and have the, the zips folder. So now that that's done, I just go back to my GitHub and as you can see, it's adding all that new stuff to it automatically. All right, so I'm going to commit. And I'm going to push it. Depending on how much you've, you've gotten changes, it could take it a little bit to push. Uh, so, you know, there's times when I do repo updates, it takes mine a couple minutes. So, you know, that can happen, depending on what all you've got in there. All right, so now that I've done that, we can go back to the website and do another refresh. And you're going to see all that stuff in there. All right, it's going to look like you've seen on some of the others alright so and that's it that's all there is to it uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut this one short like I said I'm gonna do another video on how to use uh, the current version of my repo generator and um, you know cover that for you in a separate one show you how to use it uh, to help maintain uh, your repo in, in a little bit easier uh, way so Alright, I'll see y'all in the next video. Hope you're having a great week. 
and uh, staying uh, warm now that winter's trying to make it come back in some parts of the states here where I'm at. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, if you run into anything or if you know other uh, Git clients you're used to, things like that, uh, you want to share, go ahead and drop in a comment below. All right, y'all have a great one. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a comment down below, click like in the corner, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.